Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Sag and Sun. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I was seeing um false person and great fortune. So let's see y'all. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. Keep seeing this coffin card. That's not the coffin card, it's behind this though, but let's Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me as I channel this energy. Okay, Spirit. Talk to me, talk. Imprisonment. Okay. This is that 29 breaking down to 11. Somebody could be stuck in their head about a child or stuck or this person could be stuck in their head because of something that they didn't know about because this child card could also uh, symbolize like being naive but let's see. Now, my son done laughed out loud twice, so could be some childish behavior going on. What else, Spirit? Mm, told you, I keep seeing that card. What the world? What the world? Great fortune. Uh oh, what's that? Unexpected income. What is going on? <coughs> Sudden well. What the hell? Um, this don't make sense. And there it is, false person. Okay, so it came out in the reverse on top of the sudden well. So whoever this false person is, it will be revealed. I kind of feel like what it's saying because this car says wealthy man. I feel, and I feel like this is someone that you know already. They did not show you their true selves. I feel like this person's been, I don't know why I heard ruminating. They've been thinking about some things here. What has this child got to do with what's going on? The moon, Knight of swords. Spirit, what does this child card have to do? The tent, well, for some reason, because of a child, somebody's getting the ten of pentacles. I don't know how in the hell, unless maybe somebody about to sign your child for something. You know what I mean? Like, and then there they go again. It could be a cancer. Some of you guys could know a cancer that is wealthy. I don't know what this is trying to say. Because the way I was getting it was like, okay, this is somebody that you know, but they didn't show you their real self with this false person. And it's like, now they want to come in and reveal themselves. And with this unexpected income, they could like give you a gift or something. All right, Spirit, what else? What else is going on? King of Cups. It could be a cancer. But I feel like this person has some type of emotions, okay? And a lot of passion. Oof. Could be a fire sign or a water sign. Okay. Could be a Capricorn. This person could even be a little bit obsessed. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody that you know. The Emperor. This is someone that you know that just didn't show you their real self. I don't know why. Um... And you know what this eight of swords could mean? Like somebody could always be guarded. And this could be the reason that this person's always guarded. If, think about it like this. If you are somebody who has money. And if you are looking for real friends or real love. You're not going to lead with this, right? 444 on the phone. And it's because you want people to want you for you and not what you have. You see what I'm saying? And so I feel like that's why in the past, this person did not reveal. Because the King of Cups, they're emotionally intelligent. They know exactly how they feel, but they withhold it. 
and it's mostly for two reasons. One, they don't want to be hurt. The other reason is to manipulate a situation. Okay? I just feel like this person was holding back a lot from you. And you know what I'm getting now? It's because of some type of childhood wounding for some of y'all. Okay, let's, yeah, the moon. They did not reveal. But with the false person coming up in the reverse, I feel like this person wants to come towards you and reveal to you who they really are. You may have met them and they were like a king of cups, but they really an emperor. Like this person could have businesses, real estate, all kind of shit. But I, I'm sure this person get tired of, cause you know, maybe, you know, their circle probably knows about this. 555 on the phone. And I feel like other people was involved. Like when they met you, I feel like other people was like, oh no, this person's a gold digger, blah, 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 blah. Something like that. Let's pull the romance angels. Cause they have emotions. Look at that, a new person to your romantic feelings. This person, remember I said with the uh, devil card, they could be a little bit obsessed because they got love, passion, and then the devil card came out. So they are definitely attracted to you, okay? But I, I don't know why they always think, but they do. They think everybody only want them for what they got. And maybe they didn't had those um, experiences before. Let's keep going. And then you have to think back, well, who the hell was it? Because <laughs> this is somebody from the past, but like I said, they ain't show you their true self. All right, what is this car? So, yeah, I just said from the past. The car says someone from the past is returning to your life. That's what I'm saying. They want to come back and reveal their true self. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Ooh. I don't like that. What are you being cautioned about? What's this? Yo, them cars ain't... I gotta read them. Cause they ain't supposed to be flipped over like that. The bottom of the deck says love yourself first and trust. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know what I'm kind of getting? Somebody's been watching to see if you was able to... How do I... Like, take care of yourself. Stand on your own two feet. Something like that. Yeah, they wanted to see if you was codependent or not. I can't make it up. Okay, but Spirit says no. That's what they've been waiting on. Spirit's like no. And it's safe to go ahead and love this person. Reveal how you feel. And so that's what they're doing. They're coming back to reveal to you who they really are. Now, I don't know if you would feel the same. Because you know the, the movie that I'm getting? Um, ATL. Where um, she wanted to be hood so bad. She used to go to the hood, and that's how she met T.I. But she was really rich, okay? She would never let T.I. know where she really lived. He tried to, he offered to take her home. And um, she was like, no, you can just drop me off right here at the bus stop. And he was like, why, you think I'm going to pick on where you live or something like that? Whole time now. And then he went and bought her a necklace. Imagine you taking your little hundred dollars, you done saved up and go and buy somebody a necklace that you care about just to turn around and find out that everything that they've been telling you is a lie. They really live in a fucking mansion somewhere and drive a nice ass vehicle. You feel me? So anyway, and that's why I say some of y'all may not, because I'm a Sagittarius. I know like once you lie to a motherfucker, <laughs> it's kind of hard to get back. It is. It's like, damn, if you don't lie about who you who you really are, <coughs> you don't lie about any damn thing. You can't hide yourself. I understand why this person did what they did. But then again, it's like, because the thing of it is not that they don't trust other people. You should be able to trust yourself to make the right decision. You feel me? So, I, I mean, maybe they've been hurt before maybe motherfucker done used them before and or they could have people around them that's always telling them every time they meet somebody oh that person only wants you for your money but that codependency here and that's what i'm saying they wanted to see if your ass was able to do your handle your shit on your own and spirit is like yes it's safe for you to love so now this person wants forgiveness because i told you there was a lot of can't look mm -mm -mm. 
I said they got love for you and passion and then the devil card. It says chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So some of you guys could have been like, why did this person, if there's so much attraction between the two of us, why didn't it go anywhere? Hmm. And see what, what I was saying about the childhood wounding. It says, as you release and heal the past, that would be, this child card can also be symbolic to the Six of Cups. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this is somebody who's been watching for a while. They've been stuck on you, watching, just trying to see how you handle things. I don't know why I was getting seeing your day-to-day -day activities. I hope you ain't nobody that posts. <laughs> Some people do that shit. Uh, they post everything they do. Okay, at 12 or 3, I fought it. At 159, I took a shit. Because somebody trying to see your daily activities. Like, how are you with money? And, like, do you pay your bills on time and shit like that? So, anyway, child, whatever it was that they done... Whatever they were looking for, they didn't found it out. Spirit said, hey, it's, it's safe. It's safe for you to love this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So now you got this motherfucker. They, try, they want forgiveness, like it said right here. They want to reconcile, like it says right here. They're definitely attracted to you. Some of them is a little bit obsessed with you. That's why the Eight of Swords is here. Um, What else, Spirit? Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. It could be an Aquarius for some of y'all with the star card. Mm. Alrighty. But then I feel like, I don't know why I feel like somebody was making them feel as if it was not safe to love you. Maybe you triggered this person um, because they could have been in another relationship where people was controlling or people was trying to use this person. And so when people aren't healed, they project. You feel me? And they don't understand that, but they project a lot. And so all of this stuff that this person was thinking in their head was coming. It wasn't coming from you. It was coming from them. This is a person who's like, oh, yeah, I, been, I bet they think they know everything. And I bet they this and they that. And um, I just got, for some of y'all, for some of you, they are so attracted to you. I'm picking up like a queen of wands energy that they felt that you was a gold digger. Could have even been something that you said. I don't know. I just really feel like because they hadn't healed from the past, like the card said, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I feel like because this person hadn't healed and just because you're single and by yourself don't mean you done healed. You have to really do some soul searching. You have to really self-reflect. And you don't have to be single to self-reflect, but it, it makes it a lot better. But just because a person is single doesn't mean that they're doing that. Okay? And this could have been somebody who's been single for a while. But maybe they weren't healing. Maybe they was just focusing on getting to the money. Because you got wealthy man, great fortune, sudden wealth, ten of pentacles, just working, working, buying businesses, uh, making deals, blah, blah, blah. Never really focusing on why the fuck are you so damn guarded. It's got to be somebody you can trust. And that's not even the real problem. The real issue is, can you trust yourself not to make the same fucked up ass decision? Because if somebody did hurt you in the past, at the end of the day, you chose that person. Come on now. People don't want to be accountable. They always want to point the finger and say, this motherfucker cheated on me. This motherfucker lied to me. That hurt me. And, and that may be true. But you did the picking. You did the picking now. And so you got to look at what it was that attracted you to that person who hurt you so goddamn bad. Figure that shit out, you know. But instead, you have people who will shut down. And they look at everybody like, like that song R. Kelly got, one man can make one woman hate all men. That shit could be vice versa too. Especially for a man. God forbid a man get hurt. Oh my God. It's over. It's damn near over. A goddess would have to walk from the skies and, and, and come down before this person would even think about opening up their heart. And for some of you, they could see you as that. They could see. Now, if they see you as a goddess, then you need to know you are the reason this person is opening back up. 
okay? But baby, and, and what is the goddess? The goddess is divine feminine. Divine feminine is matched to the empress, the empress. So, because that's what it would damn near take. Somebody that they know they can trust their heart and soul with. You feel me? And whoever this is, when they do find the right person, it ain't shit they wouldn't do for them. This person loves really hard. When they love, they love hard as fuck. When you decide to get into a connection with this motherfucker, you are theirs, period. And they wish a motherfucker would fuck with you. So whoever this is, if you decided to get into a connection with them, you you gonna know that you loved and you gonna feel protected and all of that. But they just they just don't get their heart out like that for real. Okay. So what else did? Quince, I'm telling you, somebody thought she was like this. You see how she just holding that coin? That's what they thought. But I mean, there, there could have been an ex-spouse. Or it could, it could have even been another option who swooped in. And I don't know, maybe they study people like this. I did a reading while back where I said these two women they be tag team tag teaming these men, making them feel like they're in control, but they're really not. They're getting played from the front door. They just taking them for what they got. But it seems as if they're in control because they got they got two women. You see what I'm saying? It was something like that. And they was trying to get this person caught up with a child. I mean, we do got this stuck energy then the child card, so no. So uh the page of wands is not only is it inspiration, I feel like it's good news. Okay. There's the four wands. So this is stability. I feel like this person could they really do. They want to come back and reveal. Okay. See, look at this shit. <coughs> there it go again. That imprisonment card, that's the eight of swords. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. What's up with the sneaky shit? Because I see goodness coming out of it, but why this person being so sneaky? There could be a Libra involved. I just saw the Justice card. Why is this person being so sneaky? The Hermit could be a Virgo. Now, see, there's that energy of going within, doing some soul searching, self-reflecting having boundaries maybe they this could be a person this queen of pentacles could be like a mother of a child or something or hell it could be their own mom and so if they was being stuck with this person this energy line or hell they line somebody has boundaries now seven of ones to the hermit and they're doing what i was talking about earlier instead of projecting and thinking that everybody else is not to be trusted you have to ask yourself where is that coming from why do you feel that way? You have to analyze it, you know, because you don't get one life in this body. You don't want to uh, be miserable. This could be somebody who has it all, ain't got nobody to share it with because they so guarded. Oh, you only want me for my money. You only want me, like, sit your ass down, bro, damn. <laughs> and then, maybe they kept, like, for some of y'all, this person could have blocked you out, right? They're judging you because, like I said, they're projecting. And they could have went and got with somebody like this. Because the, the false person is, is in the reverse. And, you know, it could have been this queen of pentacles. They could have thought that this was somebody that was on their level. But it could have been somebody who was trying to trap them up. Eight of Swords, child. Okay, so. Oh, what else, spirit? All right, so you have the sun. Be a Leo energy, but something could there's a child holding a red flag. Something could have been revealed about a child. Somebody wants to apologize. Could be a Pisces involved. For some of you, this person might come, they might want to come back to you, but they they could they could have a child now where they didn't before. How would you feel about that? Alright, they they're watching. They ain't, I feel like they ain't never really stopped with the eight of wands. I feel like they ain't never really stopped watching. Something just w didn't allow for this person to come towards you. Especially, and, you know, if you're dealing with one of them signs that don't like change, 
then they could have stayed stuck because of a child. I don't know. And you got this five of wands. That's competition. This is chaos, conflict. But this is also family arguing, fussing, and fighting. And remember earlier while I was saying, I believe that there was someone around them telling them shit. Because if you look at this imprisonment card, there's this little rat telling this masculine something that's keeping them stuck. It's keeping something on lock. Whoever this little rat is. And so that little rat could have been this. The Queen of Pentacles could be a mother figure. It could be a, a spouse, an ex-spouse, or somebody who's money hungry. I mean, the focus for this person in this reading is that coin that they're holding. Let me grab my situations deck. Because we still don't know how this person is viewing you. But I'm telling you, you dealing with a type, like I said, a goddess would have to come out of the sky in order for this person to open their heart again. And so if you're dealing with an emperor, they only going to open up for an empress. That is a goddess. That's not who the fuck this Queen of Pentacles is, though. Okay, but, yeah, look. Remember I said with that King of Cups, they do care for you. They are passionate about you. But it was some bullshit going on. Oh, what I just say? I said this type of energy that I'm picking up on, they're only going to open up for a goddess. And this is an emperor. And it says twin flame. So this has got to be how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as their twin because the car says it's safe to love this person and so whoever they was dealing with probably was the codependent motherfucker and so they're done with that energy yep somebody was threatened somebody was threatened by you oh so sick good i'm so sick good but it says done completion lesson learned yep it is right there this drama queen in the one thirsty want to cause some chaos and i really feel but see this is the part that i for some of y'all they have a, ch a child by this person and guess who this person is they're karmic as fuck who the fuck want to deal with that and that's why i said with this hermit and the seven of, of wands they are now getting boundaries that they didn't have before this is somebody who was allowing their baby mama to tell them who they could date and, and she was cool with that because she was benefiting off of it he she was spending to him because i really feel like it's a child involved she was spending to him like um how can i say it in his mind he felt as if he was doing what was best for this child right not realizing how this person was benefiting and they was leaving out their twin. They didn't rip this person's stubborn as fuck. Okay. And so these two people could be in a situation where like they're co-parenting, they think they cool. This codependent person was threatened by you. It's, it's right here. So it's probably telling this masculine, oh no, you don't need to deal with that. that them the types they money hungry or she could have came to him like oh so this is who you like well you know i can get some, i can find out some information if you want me to he like yeah man you know well let me show you what i found out this person be doing this and they be doing that whatever the fuck it was had this person stuck okay and i just did a reading on my main channel i said i'm so fucking sick of these masculines out here riding with these karmas look at this shit I said, they out here riding for these karmics and they leaving their divine counterparts out there to fend for themselves. It's like they'll ride and die, protect, fight, kill for these motherfucking karmics here. But divine feminine just out there by their goddamn self. I said, I'm sick of it. And this person does have a twin flame. That's what the goddamn cards say. But that's that's not who they're dealing with. They're dealing with this little dark motherfucker. Okay? Who was threatened by you. So, I mean... I'm sure this person started some drama. That's what the car said. Drama queen. Gossip. All kind of shit. Somebody doing something behind a profile. Social media fake profile. And so what I was about to tell you, Sag, is if this masculine can't stand up to this person, I wouldn't deal with this. Because this energy is always going to have something to say. The card says drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. And if this is a baby mama or mama, whoever the fuck it is, is they care about this masculine cares about this person some kind of way. Or it's how, how they going to have a say so in your fucking life. You feel me? So if this is a baby mama, that means every time 
this person gonna pick up their kid or shit, maybe just while y'all at home, he gonna answer that phone call. And he will always put this baby mama needs above yours. Who finna, why? Why would you deal with that? Okay, so be mindful. What that car say? Uh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Entrapment. So somebody tried. That's the day of the source. And it says child. So this entrapment card says pregnancy, money, or manipulation. Well, who gonna do that? This fucking karmic. Because one thing for sure and two things for certain. The divine feminine understands that the creator will supply their needs. And it's not about having a certain amount of money in the bank. It's about having what you need when you need it. That's real abundance, okay? But this person, this person is all about, like, labels and, and they're very materialistic, this energy here. So, and if they, if this masculine was taking care of them, I would assume they was with all this money. Then you coming into this masculine's life is what was threatening to this woman, whether they still fucking or not. He was threatening somebody's stability, threatening somebody's uh, money, okay? And this masculine was too damn... Stub being stubborn don't hurt nobody but the motherfucker that's being stubborn, okay? So, what else, dear? I don't know if I would deal with it. Yeah, it's, it was, it's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. Adrenaline rush... Um, I don't know. Unless now, if they are going to defend what it is that they want, have boundaries and tell this person, hey, don't call me unless it's about the kids or, you know, then that's a different story. But if you always got to play second best to this car, who, why would you do that? It makes no sense. I don't give a fuck how much money they got. Why would you do that? You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's very important to know your worth. Because when you know, if this ma if this emperor is a masculine, that would make you the divine feminine, the twin flame to them, but they over here dealing with this karma. Ain't no divine feminine finna put up with that. You, if you, and, I, and you don't expect to be put over no one's children. Hell no. Nah. You wouldn't even, but see this karma would spin it to him that way. Well, if they can't understand that, then they don't need to be in your life or some dumb shit, bro. You people like this can't think for their goddamn self. Okay, yeah, toxic. They were surrounded by toxic, unhealthy people and behaviors. Okay. What else, babe? I just, mm, I don't know. I can't tell y'all what to do. I wouldn't deal with this shit. I'd be like, fuck you, fuck her, fuck your apology. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What's this, bitch? See, now somebody panicking. Damn, y'all hear them sirens? This person is, they're threatened. Because what's important to this woman is this masculine's money. And, and sad, you're in the way. So they got to get rid of you. And whoever else, because, you know, that five of ones, that's family. It might be a whole group of motherfuckers trying to get you out of the way. Because you are a threat, some type of way. So... It says meditation, clearing space, removing negative energy. If this masculine wants to continue to be surrounded by the, the card literally says toxic, unhealthy people. That's that's his choice. But these motherfuckers need to leave you fuck alone. I told you that's all it's about. Financial support. That's it. <coughs> that's it. Something could have happened in the past, though. His past desires. Oh, my coffee getting warm. See why it says rage, petty, jealousy, and envy. Well, I I will guarantee you this one thing for sure, and two things for certain. There ain't no divine feminine jealous of no other woman because divine feminine is all four queens. This person right here is just a queen of pentacles. And for a lot of you, the only reason they're a queen of pentacles is because of this man. You feel me? So without this man, they go to the five of pentacles. 
So, like I said, people's energy will tell them. They can lie all day long. And, this karmic can lie all day long and say she's divine feminine. But her actions, you cannot go out, go off what motherfucker is saying. You have to go off their actions. Actions speak louder than words. This person over here is enraged. They being petty. They jealous. And they envious. Why is that? Because you are a threat. What the damn card say? You a threat. To this person, their stability is some. Because these types of individuals, they have to secure a man. See, that's what I was saying in my reading. These karmics, they put their faith in a man, a real man, to be their financial support. A divine feminine puts their faith in the most high. That's a major difference. Because this man could die today. And not leave your ass shit. Then what you gonna do? You put your faith in the most high. Like I said, you may not have millions in the bank. But you, you have what you need when you need it. And that's the true abundance, bro. So, they, if you ask me my honest opinion, look at that. I feel like this person fucked up, stayed with this karmic ass energy, projected onto you what this karmic really is, is a fucking gold digger. Period. Okay. What else? Now you got a spontaneous surprise visit. Somebody trying to pop up on you. That's why I'm like, why they all in your fucking energy? This is somebody from your past. You're not even talking to this person. Why they popping up on you? What else, dear? This shit starting to piss me off. And look, at, I told you. I fucking told you. And we just heard the sirens. So look, legal court paperwork was filed. Somebody's friends and family is stalking watching something I feel like this karmic her friends and family or this karmic and this masculine's friends they all stalking this divine feminine it's like what the fuck what's this forbidden love so they don't want this masculine with their own divine counterpart Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Or somebody who extra fucking emotional. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's like, when those signs get emotional, they hold on to grudges for dear life. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, too. They hold on to grudges for dear life. Some shit could have happened. I heard a song yesterday. My daughter played a song for me. She said, this bitch over here arguing with me about a man I ain't had sex with in over a year and a half. Like, what the fuck? That's this type of shit right here. Like, come on, bruh. Because they still threatened by you. And it could be because you can stand on your own. You don't need this man. You feel me? You don't. You're not addicted to this lifestyle that this woman has become accustomed to. How you going to get accustomed to somebody else's dollar? How you going to count what's in somebody else's pocket? God forbid they wake up today and they tired of dealing with your ass. Then what you going to do? Some people will start... The scare tactics. I go kill myself and all that old crazy shit. You feel me? Like no. Or they try to trap trap them up. What to say? Entrapment, pregnancy. I wish I would stay pregnant to keep a motherfucker. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And I ain't knocking nobody to do 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 what you feel you need to do. But man, when you put your faith in man, is here to disappoint. When I say man, I'm talking about people. The most high ain't going to disappoint. You will have what you need when you need it. This person, they like losing their fucking mind. If they lose this person and this money, they're going to lose their fucking mind. That's crazy. It's unhealthy too. And when, when people are in this panic energy, that what the damn card said. They enraged. They're panicking. Anxiety, scared, panic. They're threatened by you. When they get in that type of energy, they would do anything and i feel like that's why the cars say pay attention to the red flags this man may be trying to get the fuck away from them folks but this motherfucker is not trying to let go i would never try to hold on to something that don't want to be held but again this man is the way this person survives so it's sad to be like that but you know some people are
I just saw that silence, none action. For some of you, this masculine could have walked away from these folks already. And so that would explain why the family says blood ties in a circle. That would explain why this family is stalking you. Because what I was going to say earlier, maybe this masculine was not just taking care of this woman. She, he could have been taking care of other family members. What's that reading I did? I said, oh, shit, the masculine done dipped. And it's getting close to the first of the month. People rent due. Bills is due. Car notes is due. And the masculine ain't nowhere to be found. And they all know they all teamed up together to get the masculine to come away from the divine feminine. So that that's what that's the first place they're gonna go. They all think that this masculine is over there with the divine feminine. And in this situation, divine feminine is you, Sagittarius. So you got this this whole group that they're five of ones, all of them stalking your ass. It's just a, and some of them are causing okay wow that's fucked up some of them they're trying to get this masculine to come out the woodwork because hermit with seven of, of wands is don't fuck with me this person may have changed their phone number moved turned the phone on it's like somebody can't get in contact with this masculine because they're right now doing that soul searching that i was talking about so because the car says done completion lesson learned and what is a karmic well let's just see it's here for lessons. And it says the lesson has been learned. So now this person is protecting their energy, putting up boundaries for the first time, probably in their life, to a person who's codependent. It's kind of like telling the narcissist, a narcissist that you're done, but you were their main supply. Sometimes that can end deadly. Y'all done seen the damn stories that be on the news and shit. It's, it, that's why it's never healthy to be dependent on nobody but but yourself in the most high. If you are able body, you only be, but you know, whatever. So what some of these people are doing with that five of wands is they're like, well, let's fuck with the divine feminine so that the masculine can come to her rescue. And then what they plan on doing to the masculine then? It's, it's some shit going on, bro. This is fucking crazy. So some of y'all just over there living your life and all this shit is happening. This could be the, why the reason the reading is coming out. Somebody knows. See, with this happiness card, I do feel like it says a new person started your romantic feelings. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Um, this person starting to see the truth. They're doing some soul searching. They want your forgiveness. They want to reconcile. But the red flag is they got this codependent person, family, and friends. Anybody who was leeching off of this masculine is pissed now. Who are they blaming? Like I said, people always want to blame. They never want to go within themselves. Why they can't go within themselves and ask them what's wrong with them going to get a goddamn job? If the masculine been taking care of your ass for seven years, what the fuck have you been doing in them seven years? Or did you just think you was going to be able to suck off this masculine till the day they died? But they're not going to do that. These people is not going to self-reflect. They're going to blame it on somebody. And unfortunately, the masculine ain't there to hear all this bullshit. So it's coming towards you. Retaliation. Punish, payback, revenge. Revenge. There's the divine masculine. Removing negative energy. Getting rid of family and friends or something like that with this uh, soulmate card. Because soulmates can be anybody. It could be family, co-workers, friends, or, or a romantic partner, right? So this person was stuck between a soulmate and a twin flame. The soulmates is there, you know, and it's not all bad with these soulmates. There's good times there. But when they're karmic, like this one was, there's regular soulmates, there's karmic soulmates, and then there's a twin flame. So I feel like some of these families and friends could have been regular soulmates. This person was karmic as fuck. And people may not know the true energies of people until they show their true colors. These motherfuckers is showing their true colors right now with this rage. There ain't no divine feminine finna be in it, no nothing like this. For what? When she know the most high God gonna take care of what she need. But if you depending on a man, you might start acting like this. And for some of y'all, it may not even be money that they want from this person. Some of these motherfuckers be addicted to sex. <laughs> Baby. Or just addicted to control. 
I got your child so I can control your life. I can tell you who you can be with and who you can't be with because now I got something I can hold over your head. Well, that's not working anymore with the, with the hermit and the seven of wands because this person is starting to now have boundaries. Okay? So I see this desire. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Ascension. Spiritual awakening. So this person's awakening. So they're gonna they're coming from a, a wealthy man and they're stepping into their emperor energy, divine masculine energy, because they have awakened. Right? So unless because I can't I can't just assume. I don't know who I'm picking up on, but I will tell you who is who. The person that this energy has a child with is karmic. So unless you are this ex-spouse or this baby mama. If you you know who you are. If you're in this retaliation energy, then you know you karmic as fuck. Like I said, people, they true colors gonna come out. But see, this what I'm getting. Because this card says Archangel Michael, protection, prevent from harm, divine intervention. Because a lot of y'all ain't even doing shit to this person. They just want somebody to blame. They want somebody to blame for something. Ooh. Now, children, wish fulfillment, financial support, and coming together. This is the second reconciliation card on this board. What's back here? Long-term commitment and moving. See, that's what I said. That long-term commitment could have been this karmic energy over here. What they done with this person. And like I said, with that hermit, they could have moved. Maybe can't nobody get in contact with them. So they all on the internet. This person's like, they could even be trying to talk to this masculine behind a fake profile. I feel like there's a lot of people trying to get in touch with this masculine. But that's not going to work. Archangel Michael is here. And they could be getting mad with that rage because it's not working. Like, oh my God, my motherfucking car notice, dude. I just talked to his ass the other day. You know how people try to butt up on you when bills start getting due? I just talked to his ass the other day. And now that my motherfucking car note is due, my car note is due, I can't get in touch with this person. I know it is. The first place they're going to go is to the energy that they try to keep this masculine from. And it's their divine counterpart. That could have even been that ooh, and that's what I was about to say. It could have been a love affair right here. Could have been. There you go, right now. Single, free to fucking mingle. That's that hermit energy, okay? But that this person is weighted down. Ten of Wands. They're burdened because they feel trapped or or closed in. Something. There's a divorce that's final or some type of breakup. And somebody's on the verge of revealing or confessing something. And then what's this? Yeah, social media. Somebody doing some crazy shit behind the social media. But like I told y'all, again, there's this magnetic attraction. The first card said chemistry, a strong magnetic attraction. This one says magnetic, unexplainable pull. They can't resist. So they could even try and say if these people were married, like the card is saying, they, they don't want to look at it and see that it was karmic. And karmics, they're just here to teach us lessons. This person is not trying to hear that shit. They are saying, especially if there was an affair in this situation, y'all, they're like, hell no, nah, this bitch broke up my marriage. That's what somebody's saying. For some. Okay? I knew it. She finally coming out. Divine feminine, and this is what it came out with, unconditional love. And see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This person's walking away from this energy who's in this retaliation. And we've already established that this was the person who was threatened. This is the person that is karmic as fuck, y'all. They panicking, they enraged. They doing, look, all of the cards for this person is all dark as fuck. They doing unnecessary bullshit. And we've already established that this man who's going through this is a divine masculine. And we already said, even though she hadn't hit the board, I already knew that the person that they want to come to and apologize to is this divine feminine. Why they want to come to you now? Because they have awakened. 
It says ascension, spiritual path, awakening. A lot of divine feminines were put in their masculine lives, no matter how that shit happened. They was put in their masculine life to wake their ass up and let them see what the fuck is really going on. This masculine could have been surrounded by, well, let's read the card because people think I be making up shit. They could have been surrounded by toxic, unhealthy people, behavior, situations. Okay? So, people could be trying to pop up on, I told you they're doing this to you. They're trying to get this masculine to come out the woodworks. But whatever this is they finna try to do is not gonna work. You got Archangel Michael here. Somebody's on the verge of confessing or revealing something. Somebody could have been writing a book or keeping a diary, taking notes, something like that. Because I feel like this person, they're in the, that hermit, seven of wands. They're in some type of hideaway or something like that, y'all. Yeah, they could just, they don't want to be bothered with these folks, but these folks don't know how to let go. And they don't, they don't know what, uh, maybe these people have, think of, say for instance, if you've had control over a person for years, and then all of us, especially if this is a mom, think about it now. If you got a son, think about that. You and your son close as fuck, and here come this old karmic ass, whatever the fuck, and takes that person away from you. You're going to be upset, right? Well, it's the same thing here. This person's been able to, to, to control this masculine's thoughts, who they deal with, who they don't deal with. And I feel like it's because they held the, the child over their head or, some, or childhood wounds. Because a lot of karmic relationships come together because of trauma. They trauma bond. You know, or he was abused as a child, or so was I, was I. And they build, they try to build um, a relationship off of that. Okay? So, and for a long time, this person was just focused outward, this masculine. They weren't going within, trying to heal. Like the card said, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. These could have been two people who weren't um, even in love anymore. What they say is cheaper to keep them. And maybe they had an open marriage. Y'all hear about that shit all the time. Because a person doesn't want to lose a home or they don't, they don't just, they feel like, why have to go to court? Split up assets. Split up the family. When we can all just live together. And if I want to cheat, I'll go get me a little apartment. Some people can afford to do that shit. And in their mind, when you are unawakened, you think that's healthy. It's not. Look at that. Toxic, unhealthy behavior and people. And it could have been people surrounding this masculine. Let him know that what he was doing was okay. Well, you know why? It's because he was taking care of them. They were getting something from him. So ain't nobody around him gonna tell him that he's doing wrong. Cause in, in fear of being cut off of whatever he's able to give them. So like I said, people just have to be willing to be accountable and look at they self. And this person wasn't. They are now with this awakening here. And I feel like you entering in, in their life helped awaken them. You are this person's happiness. They do have unconditional love for you. Like the card says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. But they, they had to come up out of something. They first had to be honest with themselves. And so they could be trying to do the right thing. But that's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. If this motherfucker ain't going to have the right boundaries and tell a bitch how they really feel. Like, no, don't fuck with this. Because like I said, this person is a very loyal, dependable energy. This masculine. But they was just being loyal to the wrong motherfuckers. I just really feel, y'all. I really do now. What the car say? And so silence, none action. They're not taking action towards you because this person is watching. Family, friends, everybody. Obsession. Remember when that devil came out and said this person could even be a little bit obsessed? So he could be watching you from afar with the eight of wands. But so is this family and this karmic. They all watching. And that's the part I don't think is fair. It's like you over here living your life. And here comes this bullshit. Here comes this bullshit. And it, it happens at a moment where divine feminine is probably just now getting used to being by herself. You know what I mean? It's like when you are finally happy in that ninth cup, being alone by yourself, figuring out 
what's going to work for you, what's not, what's going to make you happy. That's when these motherfuckers want to come and disrupt. This is a disruption, I feel. Even if it's not happening to you physically, it's a disruption energetically. Because all of this energy is being projected onto you. You got this person's friends and family gossiping and talking shit. You got all these motherfuckers watching you. It's like, what the fuck? And then there's some type of paper, court paperwork being filed. A magnifying glass on the legal department. It's just a lot of bullshit going on. A lot of bullshit going on. And that, like I said, that's the part that I don't think is fair. And it could be because somebody wants to come towards you and make some type of offer. These people could even be trying to, what you say, um, scare you into not taking something. Yeah, some of them doing that. I just got a notification. Some of these people are like trying to uh, place fear so you will deny it. So you will deny this uh, masculine when they come towards you. They want to, because this the card says thirsty causing chaos. And so if they know you're the type of peaceful person, most divine feminines are. Because you're doing the work, you're getting in alignment. You don't have time for the art. You don't even, most people like to sit up and um, gossip about people. I seen the thing on my, my feed, these two women, they went out to eat. And they said the first motherfucker to gossip about somebody got to pay for the meal. Ain't nobody said shit the whole, the whole time. But she said she was like suddenly ain't nothing to talk about because most people do that and before i was awakened that was normal to just sit around and listen to motherfuckers gossip chime in when i wanted to or step out when i didn't that was normal because i was unawakened you see what i'm saying a lot of people think divine feminine is perfect no they just have ascended they have learned the fucking lessons and they are ascending we should be forever evolving okay and so that's it. it. Ain't nobody perfect. We just don't learn the lessons. I am not who the fuck I was last year, the year before that, or even the year before that. And I thank God for that every fucking day. Because it, it was bad. You feel me? So, and that's what's happening now. This masculine is awakening, and they don't want to be around this bullshit. Gossiping and doing the same old shit and drama. They want to be with someone who's on their level. Divine masculine, divine feminine. But this is what's coming with it. So this karmic and these family members, they feel like if they can threaten you, place fear in you, and you know that this person's coming towards you, you'll be like, oh, like I said at the beginning, why would you want to deal with this person with all this drama that comes along with it? So I can't tell y'all what to do, but they will be trying to do that. Trying to make you turn away from this person. So, can I do see this? Offer, proposal, commitment. It's up to you. The connection strong as fuck. I swear, y'all, I ordered a damn um, Uber because my fucking brakes was fucked up. Tell me why the motherfucker that was driving was just like my DM. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I want to get in this motherfucking car, baby. So anyway, um, moving, physical location change. So uh, another thing that I'm getting with this now that it's coming out a second time is this masculine, they may not themselves come towards you. They may try and communicate through other means. It may be telepathically. Because I said over two years ago, I said there's going to come a point on this twin flame journey you guys won't even be able to talk on the physical. I said, the next time y'all meet up, it'll be because y'all, like, what will happen is y'all will go, and a lot of people don't believe that, but it's just the truth of it. You see this card? It says fifth dimension. That's divine masculine, divine feminine. They have telepathic communication. So in your sleep, you go to sleep, this person goes to sleep, y'all might have a dream. Y'all might meet up in y'all dreams and choose a date and time to meet. Okay, this shit is real. Ask any twin who has come back with, who has reunited with that other twin. This shit really do happen. It really do happen, okay? And so, in the dream, y'all done set a date. Okay, we're going to meet Thursday at 3 o'clock, okay? Do you wake up? You may not have no memory of the dream. But all you know is that you get this urge to go to MLK Thursday at 3 o'clock. Same thing for the masculine. And then there y'all go. Both y'all end up just like that. Because for some of y'all, these people watching. For some of you with this legal court paperwork file. They, they, you know what I'm getting? This is fucking crazy. Bitch. 
this karmic who is enraged that made up some lies on the divine feminine in order to have constant eyes on the divine feminine. But it's because they're trying to get to this person. They're trying to make sure this masculine don't get to this divine feminine. So for some of y'all here, they got constant eyes on you. I mean, like, maybe this person knows people who can do that. Wow, that's a clever little fucker, ain't it? <laughs> Baby. So in the next days, weeks, months, what, spirit? This is crazy. Yeah, they could be trying to trigger you. That's what I'm telling you. They fucking with you. Mm -mm -mm. That's who I was getting. Somebody may, this person's, this karmic's family may be bounty hunters or something like that. This is, yeah, see, look at that. TikTok, dead on time running out. This is a lot. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. But I cannot tell y'all what to do. If you if you want to be with this masculine, you care about them, and they come to you, do what you want to do. I'm just telling you what the fuck is going on. Mm -hmm. And it's all over her relationship. This is sad. It's really sad. But you know, when you're dealing with divine feminine, divine masculine, people would tear the world down to keep y'all apart. They will. But um, we already have this. It's this magnetic, unexplainable pool. Can't resist chemistry, strong magnetic attraction. Then you have this insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. So, TikTok, deadline time is running out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was getting. So, y'all take this how it resonates. And how it resonates, okay? But that's what's going on with this right here. It's so that they can have these constant eyes on you. Some of them watch you right now. Like, yeah, bitch, I see everything you're doing. Look. But so is this masculine. Whatever this masculine is, they got eyes on you. And I feel like they know these karmas got eyes on you. This shit is crazy. It's really crazy, bro. Chill out. That's what I said. That that part ain't fair. But I mean, this is something that y'all signed up for before y'all incarnated. Y'all already signed up for this shit, and then nobody said it was gonna be easy to be together. If it was, it'd be a lot more twin flames doing what they're supposed to do. But instead, it's a lot of feminines with karmic masculines, and there's a lot of masculines with karmic karmic feminines. And and the sad thing is a about the situation is family who is supposed to love and care for you they will push you to go towards these karmic unhealthy situations a lot of people are showing their true colors right now i did a reading several months back i said someone's family is so controlling that they're going to end up losing this it was a divine mask it was a king of wands i said they're going to end up losing this person because this person wanted to be with a particular energy. Of course, it was their divine feminine. And um, their family was like, hell no. Nah. Hell motherfucker, no. Nah. And the lesson for that masculine was people pleasing. You, you can't. And a lot of feminines and divine feminines, divine masculines, it's, it's self-love and people pleasing. Those are like the major lessons that we have to learn before we can even come back together. But once the lesson is learned, it's damn near, it's like no stopping the two of them from coming back together. So, and this person was always, their stubbornness could have got in the way, um, trying to keep the peace with everybody, not realizing that he was the one being manipulated at the end of the day. Baby, I be studying motherfuckers. The way they ask for something, 
uh, what, what he say? Your hand shaking, matching your, your smile. I'm looking at everything, cause they bad. You have to. You have to use your discernment. Something can look good on the physical, but feel wrong as fuck. You better go with your feelings. You better go with your motherfucking feelings, or you'll get in that energy of like, damn, shoulda lived. You know how I many motherfuckers say, shoulda, woulda, coulda. You don't have to if you just listen to them feelings, them intuitive feelings. You know how many people getting ready to walk down the aisle and marry a person and they got the bubble goods and they just thought they was nervous. Spirit was trying to tell them, hey, you fucking up. You're fucking up. They don't find out the years later. <laughs> anyway, that's that family right there, bro. Them motherfuckers doing all kind of shit. Somebody dealing with a cancer. I'm talking about the real. And it's because of whatever this fucking Ten of Pentacles is. I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is attached to this masculine. They don't care about the masculine. If that motherfucker stopped breathing right now, they wouldn't give a fuck. The first thing, gonna, they, gonna, the first thing they want to know is what was left to them. They don't care. They don't care. Now, shit. And most divine feminists and divine masculines find themselves cutting everybody off. When you are seeing and you realize... Just how you were surrounded by nothing but toxic people. People who actually envied you. And the first time you say no, it's like you ain't never said yes. And then it's when they really start acting a fool. God forbid you was to ask them to do something for you. And they're not going to get anything in return. They're going to give you a whole attitude. Like, why you can't do it? I got something to do. Baby. And so, but divine feminine, divine masculine, we get in the habits of not asking motherfuckers for shit. Because deep down, we know they wouldn't do it any fucking way. Or if they do it, we know that they don't want to do it. You see what I'm saying? So, and we don't ever want to be a burden on nobody. And it's just time out. So, whatever this unexpected income is, I feel like this masculine could want to share something with you. I don't know. So, yeah, two of cups with the page of wands. Expect some good news. But you need to know that these karmic monks, they watch your every fucking move. Some of them have created lies to get it to where they can watch your every move. If you make a phone call, they're going to know if you're calling the masculine or not. I don't know how they're able to do this shit, bro, but they're doing it. This is crazy. It's, it's <clears throat> baby, this is sad. It's really sad. So, you have to ask yourself, are you up for that? Do you really want to, to deal with it? I really do feel, because like I said, the type of masculine that I'm picking up on, now that this person is awake, just as hard as he was riding for them karmics, is how hard, times 10, he will ride for you. You got to decide if you, if, you, if you want it. Let's pull some... Um, Romance angels. But here's the thing. People can only do what you allow them to do. People talk shit about me every day. Fuck it. And people that I didn't help. People I done went out of my way for. But fuck it. They got to deal with that. With the creator. You feel me? People gonna have their opinions about you. They gonna say what they wanna say. You can't change it. So why waste time trying? You can't control how they think. You can't control what they say. Why? I'm done with that. I'm done fucking begging and pleading and bending. I'm not doing it no more. And so when you finally step into your power and you're, you, you're tired of bending and being unhappy to please everybody else, they will all turn on your motherfucking ass. Like I said, the first time you say no, it's like you ain't never said yeah before. They're like, they ain't, you ain't never helped them. They'll turn on you in a heartbeat. So... Uh, for a lot of you, it'll be just you and this masculine. You will feel like it's the two of y'all against the world. You will. Not all of you, but some of you will. Okay, so this card is popping out. So, yeah, you are a powerful light worker. Spirit says it's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. And Spirit wants you to continue to focus on service. Because I feel like not only did you wake this masculine up, some of you, whether you know it or not, can even touch the people, some of the people that's in this person's family. I'm not saying everybody. Because just like this divine feminine know what they came here to do, you have some karmics who, they know what they come here to do too. 
And uh, they come to kill, steal, and destroy. Destroy. They will try and destroy you, your life. Yeah. The moment you try to get rid of that, uh-uh. You could have built a business, right? And in this business, you are, that's how you're providing for them. The first time you say no, they go online and, and try to tear your whole business down. You're like, wow. Some of y'all might even have to start over together. I don't know. It's going to be a real eye-opener. That's what I'm telling you. Past life issue. Karmix. Karmix. Okay. The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from those past experiences so that you can ascend and go to the next level of your life, the next cycle of your life. And that is exactly what's going on. The card said completion lesson learned. So whatever it was that the masculine needed to learn from those people, he has now learned it. And now he's in that healing energy, the hermit, right? That's doing the self-reflecting, the soul searching. That's what the cards say. Learn and heal from the past. And now this person, or sooner or later, they're gonna get ready to come towards that divine feminine after doing all this other shit. But yeah, it's a, it's a very real thing, y'all. I don't know why people listen. And there's Archangel Michael again, working with both divine feminine and divine masculine. It says you are working very closely with a powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Anybody say you weren't going to get your feelings hurt? Anybody say you weren't going to go through? Of course. There is no testimony without a test. But it just, it brings you closer to your higher self. Okay? And then nine times out of ten, you take what you done learned and, and have overcome. And you may help other people do the same thing. That was That's what it's about, baby evolving okay so let's keep going and see what else comes out all right see only love look past seeming errors seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings see only love within each person including yourself you have to when you realize because some of these karmics are family and so when you realize just how they really feel about you, spirit doesn't want you to get down to their vibration. You still got to see them through the eyes of love. When you understand a person's place, it, it helps you to understand how they're going to behave. And with uh, once you have understanding, then it allows for you to move forward. When you get caught in that, I, I can't believe this. It, that denial is dangerous. Whew, it's dangerous. And a lot of people get caught in that. And then they have to keep repeating these karmic cycles. And if it's not with the same people, sometimes it's not with the same people. It's the same lesson. So you'll get a new girlfriend who's going to come along with that same lesson that the past person was here to teach you. If you didn't learn it. And these lessons get harder and harder. But once you learn the lesson, it damn near ain't nothing going to keep you from what it is that you want. Because you don't fall so goddamn hard to get there. And some of... Of the masculines and feminines have been suffering for so long spirit is is tired spirit is ready for them to enjoy life there's a card in here that says you've been giving so much of yourself lately it's time for you to receive and they're not always talking about money a lot of the times it's love support help because no matter what situation whatever the masculine divine masculine is in he's always giving no matter and wherever divine feminine is, she's always giving. And it's time, it, there comes a point now. It's time for you to receive. So you have this uh shield yourself. Absolutely. You know, my mentor says people do things from two spaces: love and fear. This person is obviously acting out of fear panic they're scared they feel as if they're losing something and that's all that lack mentality they feel as if this by this masculine leaving they're going to lose maybe their lifestyle or whatever because they feel that they don't have it within themselves to create whatever it was that this masculine was providing for them that's lack the only limit is your fucking mind 
If you can visualize yourself having it, then you can get it. I don't give a fuck what it is. But when we tell ourselves we can't, what they say, I am that I am. What a man say if so he be. It's true. You start saying you broke, you're going to move like you broke. And you're going to manifest more broke. It's just the truth of it, y'all. Okay, so protect yourself from harsh, fear-based energy. Like I said, these people are moving out of fear. They get scared, they start panicking, they start getting desperate, and they start doing shit. Like this person, creating lies to have constant eyes on this divine feminine out of her fear. That's what this shit is coming from. Jealousy, pettiness, fear. Because, and, and that's why I'm telling you, it's not healthy to be, have no fucking codependencies. Because if this person was putting their faith in the creator to provide them with what they need, they wouldn't be in fear. They would just be like, okay, it's not working. You go your way, I go my way. Cool. And figure it out. But there's something in them that believes that they're going to lose something by this masculine walking away. And they don't want to lose whatever the fuck that is. So, baby, protect yourself. Protect yourself from harsh, fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing white light surrounding you. Yeah, some of y'all need to do that shit before y'all go to sleep. Y'all hear me calling on Archangel Michael every, every time I do a reading. Because not everybody that watches me likes me, and I understand that. I'm okay with that. I just saw one eleven eleven on the phone. Um, So I want protection. Because there's some people that don't want the truth to be out. Uh, like these karmics. They don't want it to be revealed who they really are. Because they're going to lose whatever benefit that they're currently receiving from that masculine or feminine. Take how it resonates. But I said uh, the other day, and I meant that shit, it's time. These divine masculine, I mean, divine feminines been out here riding hard as fuck by their goddamn self. And our masculine's been over there riding and, and taking up for these fucking karmics. Like, come on, bruh. See the shit from a higher perspective. Learn that shit you need to learn and close that cycle out. Because they, they be pulling on our energy. They be sitting there in a karmic situation thinking about us. So like I said, shit may not be happening physically, but energetically, we can feel that. Like, and make up your mind. Do you want to be with these moms? If you want to be with them, do you need to completely cut me off? Get me out your mind, out your heart, out your thoughts, all of that shit. Because you can pull on a motherfucker energetically. So it's like you can feel that something's happening, but you don't see anything on the physical. That's some energetic pulling. That shit ain't, it ain't cool. And a lot of them will do that. They'll stay in their situations to make everybody else happy. But the whole time, the only thing that's on their mind is that divine feminine. For some of y'all, that could have been going on for years. It's like, man the fuck up and, and defend what it is that you want. Right? With that integrity, align your actions so they match the, your values. And inner knowings of what's right for you, not what's right for everybody else. You cannot live your life for everybody else. That people pleasing shit got to go and it took me a long time. A long time. For me, it was my own mama. I used to try over and over and over. And I'm like, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know what the fuck I did, but I'm not. I'm done trying to figure it out. I'm done. Okay? So anyway, it takes a lot to get to that point. It don't happen overnight. And I get that. Everybody has their own path. And we all work through the timelines differently. Okay? So you, you, you can't get upset because a person... Um, didn't wake up right when you did. People wake up when it's, it's their time, okay? Spirit is just saying, see everybody through the eyes of love, even the motherfucker that's trying to take you down. Like they say, if you can pray for, for your enemy, you already got the victory. You already got the victory. So keep praying for them. See them through the eyes of love and protect yourself, okay? Yeah, listen, I would never, ever. Let me read these cards to y'all. Assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love, as you've requested. Yet there's still a need for your strength and truthfulness. You have to be assertive. You have to have some boundaries. Whether it's it's you or, or this masculine who's ever going through this, you got to have some boundaries because we're dealing with earth angels here. That's exactly who divine masculine, divine feminine are. And you don't you don't need everybody else to see you for that. You have to see it for yourself. You can't you can't even be in the energy of trying to seek validation from anybody outside of you like i tell people you got to know who in the fuck you are 
not what they think you are. You got to know who you are, okay? So with this earth angel, it says again, you are a light worker who's come to earth to teach people about love. Because what did I say? My mentor says people do things from two spaces, love and fear. Well, we already had these karmic energies doing shit from that fear-based energy. This powerful light worker who's a divine feminine, they do stuff, and masculine too. They do stuff from a love energy. Like the card said, you are a light worker who's come to earth to teach people about love. That's the main difference, bro. It's not about what, what the fuck clothes you got on, how much money you... It's not even about that shit at the end of the day. It's not, okay? So the next card says, manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. That's what I was telling y'all when I said y'all will begin to telepathically communicate. Because for some of y'all, they're going to make it on the physical to where you damn near can't. You damn near can't, okay? And then relationships. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God, the creator now. Every other relationship will follow from there. That karmic shit, that ain't... And what I'm about to say, I don't want nobody to think that I'm... That I think divine feminine and divine masculine are perfect. We are not. Ain't nobody perfect. We are all a work in fucking progress. But if you read this card, your primary relationship is with yourself. That's why I say motherfuckers need to do some self-reflecting, some soul searching. Right? It's with yourself and God. And every other relationship will follow from there. So to attract or heal a relationship, you need to snuggle more closely to the loving creator. That's why I tell people to go in hermit mode. Because when you are in hermit mode doing that self-reflected, that ain't nobody but you and God. Ain't nobody else there. And God get to dealing with folks. And, and you start reevaluating life and things that you have been given time and energy to. And that's when you start cutting out shit that no longer serves you. And once you've done that, it's hard work to do that. But once you've done that, then you want to align yourself with somebody who's also on that vibration. So it makes sense. Divine feminine, divine masculine to come together. Right? Why would you want to do all that work just to go back to a karmic relationship? Who the fuck want to do that? It don't even make no sense. You start eating different. Um, everything starts changing. The change, the real, the real thing is the change starts from within first. And as above, so below. What's going on on the end will begin to reflect on the out. And see, a lot of people, like I said earlier, they'll stay in these situations and suffer in silence and just visualize themselves being with a divine feminine, all while staying in those current situations to please everyone. So already within, they're longing for something, right? So the things that they were currently getting in that, that current relationship or situation or friend group or whatever it's not fulfilling them anymore so there's already change is already beginning to happen on the inside and it ain't long before those changes start to reflect on the out you're gonna start cutting out shit that no longer serves you and i so for your masculine to be at this point they've been suffering for a while it ain't just start happening like right now mm -mm. okay or they've been longing for you or thinking about you or wanting you for a while. It's just now that Spirit is saying now it's time for the inner to match the out. That's what you call true alignment. Look at this. Ooh Thank you, Spirit. Listen, I'm going to read this one first. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe and the situation's under perfect control of the divine. Then you have blessing in disguise. So what appears to be a problem is actually part of the answer prayer. Let the trash take itself out. Can't nobody say you, and I just read, I just said, I quoted this card like five minutes ago. Align your actions so they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you. What's going to help you sleep at night? You cannot live your life trying to please everybody else. That is not why you was put here. And wasn't nobody put here to suffer. On your fuck, on your fuck. You wasn't. Okay? So integrity. 
So what appears to be the problem is actually part of the answer prayer. And you will understand the reasons behind your present situation is everything resolves. What you need to do right now is trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way possible. Okay? Third eye chakra. That's, that's, that's that telepathic stuff I'm telling you. What I say, y'all might go to sleep, have a dream, meet up, decide to, to meet at a certain place. You wake up, be done, forgot about the dream, and then you just feel led to go to Walmart that Thursday at 3 o'clock. And then that ass go type shit. You don't know why you just decide to go to Walmart today. You just did. It just comes like a natural thought. Like you right now, okay, yeah, I need to go to, to the store and get me some candles. I'm going to go to the dollar store. Now I'm going to go to the Walmart. You get to the Walmart and there that motherfucker go. They doing the same shit. It be happening like that. But there's not many divine counterparts who are together. But there is some. And there's accounts of what I'm telling you. That shit really do happen. But you got to talk to them. Go on their blogs. Reach out to them. But if you're not even on that path. Like see. People who ain't on this divine path. They're not going to understand. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. They not going to understand it. You can talk to them till you fucking blue. In the face. They still are not going to understand it. Don't even try to make them understand. You got to do what's right for you. Once you have confirmed that you are who in the fuck you say you are, divine masculine or divine feminine, and you have confirmed that your divine counterpart is who you think it is, you need to move accordingly. Okay? So, third eye, it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Y'all, I talk about the, having the visions all the fucking time. The masculine might start going through that too. I don't know. What was I just talking about? Acceptance. Once you have confirmation of those things that I said, then you need to move accordingly. Just the fuck period. And you should not have to explain nothing to nobody. Okay, y'all. And I'm not, listen, baby. I'm not on here trying to Change nobody's way of thinking. Change nobody's belief. Either you're on the divine, either you're on the twin flame journey or you're not. It's that simple. And if you're not, then, because that's all I read for is twins. That's it. Try to help with that ass up. And not that these two people even have to be together, but they got to come out from under that toxic energy. They got to. So you got solar plexus chakra. It's safe again. It's safe for you to be powerful and take charge in your life in positive ways. I, I, these two cards came out the other day, and I, I explained who they were. This card right here, the solar plexus, that's divine masculine. This card right here, that's divine feminine. So divine feminine card says you are a powerful light worker, and it's safe for you to be powerful. You have spiritual power, and they bring great blessings in loving service. To the divine and what the spirit said they wanted you to do continue to focus on service because you got to wake the, the the divine counterpart divine counterpart i can't counterpart up you ain't gotta fuck everybody else okay and here's another thing i said this the other day i said you can have a room full of people if your divine counterpart is in that room everybody else might hear one thing and this person they're going to hear what the most high need them to hear. It's just the truth of it. You don't need to get caught up trying to um, prove to nobody why you, you don't, why would you even answer that? Why are you doing that? What? That ain't none of your fucking business. You doing what's best for you. And listen, y'all, I be cussing all the time and shit, but I am not coming from a disrespectful place. I'm coming from, it's time for you to do what the fuck you got to do. And, and, and stop. It make me mad sometimes when I sit back and think of how I was just, let motherfuckers dog me, bruh. And then I would be trying to basically kiss their ass to keep the peace. I sit back, I think about it sometimes, and I do. I get a little bit upset. Like, damn, where was your balls at? Sage, where was your balls? It, it, it's time. These divine feminines been out here riding by themselves for too fucking long. It's time for these masculines to step up to the fucking plate. Okay? And so, like I said, this one right here was divine feminine. This right here is the masculine. Solar plexus chakra. And, and you have, you can't even just have sex. Listen. It's real. It's real out here in these streets, man. Like, you got to be mindful with everything. 
your body's a temple and you just got to treat it as such. Honor and respect your body. And like I say, when you know who you are, you ain't gonna get to everybody. You just not, you're like, fuck that shit. <laughs> because certain things can attach themselves to people through sex. Yes, it's very, very true, y'all. Listen, like I say, I ain't trying to um, convince nobody of shit. Either you're going through it or you ain't. All right, anyway, again, it's safe for you to be powerful. Both of these cards, that's, that's what the sentence starts out with. It's safe for you to be powerful. It's safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Okay, you're the author of your motherfucking life. Can't nobody, I don't care who it is. Mama, daddy, sister, brother, baby, daddy, baby, mama. They can't tell you what the fuck is best for you. And everybody's path is different. And see, that's the issue. Motherfuckers got to understand that. Everybody's path is different. What's best for you or what used to work for a motherfucker five years ago may now, it sh it, you know what, and a lot, nine times out of ten, it shouldn't still be the same. Because like I said, motherfuckers should be forever growing and learning and, and it's never done this ascension there is no one and done this awakening it's levels to this shit man okay i love y'all from the bottom of my feet until my career only tell you what resonates it was a long ass reading but you just need to know it's motherfuckers out here acting stupid but they can't penetrate your energy if you don't let them They can do and say what they want, but if you don't give them, if you don't give them no energy, then they ain't really done nothing. But made they self look foolish. I be trying to tell my daughter, man, she be getting mad so quick over shit. I'm like, bruh. Sometimes people do, they'll they'll say shit too, because they know how you're going to act. But once you done mastered yourself, and yes, we all make mistakes, and again, we are all a work in progress. Do I still get mad? Hell, motherfuck, yeah. I'm still human. And anger is a normal fucking emotion. The goal is to not sit in them emotions. You feel me? And figure it out. Why you upset? What in the fuck in you allowed yourself to get upset about what another motherfucker said? Because you know you can't control what another motherfucker say. So why would you allow it to, to affect you in that manner? You might, you know, if it's still affecting you. But that's how you know real growth has occurred. When you get the opportunity, somebody who did something to you, hurts real bad, and you get the opportunity to seek revenge and you don't, you know, you know some real growth done happened. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, some people live their whole life and, and don't grow. They get older, but they don't grow, you know. And I'm not, even, I'm not even judging none of that shit. Like I said, you just got to do what's best for you. Whoever the fuck I'm talking to. And you can do it with love. You can have boundaries with love. And if motherfuckers cannot respect your boundaries and what's going to work from you moving forward, then they have to get cut. You can love a motherfucker long ways. And sometimes that's the best way to do that shit. Okay? <laughs> Till next time. Bye.